care if I yeah. start it off. Let me go. You start. No, yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah. yeah. Dow in particular will always like, you know, like, no, come on, Glenn. Now you got this. Just, you know, let's try it this way. Let's approach it this way. And it's 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 made me a better vocalist that way. It made me overall a better artist and and actually embrace the challenge instead of running away. Working with Glenn, it, it was just the best because I always wanted to work with a great artist to marry with the music. You know what I'm saying? And then when that marriage came, it was just. And we're still here now. This is Glenn's comfort zone. He knows what he's going to get when he come here. Whether from me, whether it's from Carve or James Poiser or Dre. Interestingly enough, you know, you've asked questions along the lines of the Philly connection and stuff like that. And a lot of the musicians that I met that went on that tour with me, uh, I met through Vidal. There's just such a passion that drives the Philly sound and yep. what Philadelphian um, producers and musicians um, exemplify. Stevie is a huge influence on me, both in my personal life and in my, you know, with my passion. Vidal found a way to display that influence, but still they'd like, okay, but we'll keep, we'll, we'll either take the bridge somewhere or make something like maybe how we approach the, the programming on the drums or how they play live drums or however they chop up the beat or whatever they do to give it a feel that will be like, okay, there's there's influence, but we're, you know, Glenn will still have identity. His voice literally gave me goosebumps when I first heard it. I was like, oh man, we got to do this. Then from that point, you know, when Glenn came to Philly, we just meshed. It wasn't never no bad vibes. It wasn't never like a dull, it wasn't a dull moment. And that is a 